Uh, what's going on guys? I'm going to do a pretty cool video today. I'm on the computer loading up Google Maps. This is like we're going to be fishing today. It's called Rock Cliff Reservoir. It's in an undisclosed location. I'm going to switch this real quick to satellite view though. There we go. More realistic view of what it is. Alright, so I'm making this video because I've got a nephew that likes to fish quite a bit. He's always asking me questions. And then I've even met people in person that have fished and I've caught a lot of fish when they caught little to nothing and have asked me what I do, you know, tons of questions all the time. So, and people through Facebook. So with that said, I'm just going to, I figured I've got a YouTube channel. People ask me if I do, I tell them, yeah, I give them this, the link. So I just figured I'll just start making instructional videos to kind of put people in my mindset, what I'm doing, if it can help them at all. So here it is. This is like I'm going to be fishing today. It's called Rock Cliff Reservoir. Again, I'm not disclosing the location just to keep people's privacy private. So... So here it is, just a quick rundown of the conditions in the lake. The lake, all this northern end up here, I'm not going to fish. That's because this lake is so overgrown with grass, it's crazy. So I'm going to be fishing at deeper parts of the lake, especially this time of year anyway. So the channel runs like this. It comes out, hugs this bank, swings around this point right here. So it swings around this point, comes wide, follows this cliff right here. Comes all the way down out this way, wide and hugs this cliff, and especially this point right here. The channel comes and swings out wide this way, makes its way around here. So that means this right here, the channel comes out here. So as you can see, we'll zoom in. This is a little point right here. There's a boat ramp. You can see super clear lake. This is anywhere from two to 10 feet, all this light green area. So with that said, it's kind of a tapering point, even out here deep. It continues to taper off into the deep channel out here. But this part right here, this is a cliff, so it's like a literal deep ledge that runs this way in the creek channel. So that's going to play in factor today with my planning. All right, so conditions are this. I'll tell the conditions and the game plan. Today's conditions, I woke up, it's like 36 degrees. The wind is blowing about 30 to 40 miles. Well, no. 15 to 20, 25 miles an hour today is suspected. <laughs> cloudy to mostly cloudy all day. So here's the game plan. I'm going to be launching from right here. I'm going to shoot straight across to this point, fish a jerk bait in this little channel swing right here. See if I can't get bit. We'll call this point number one. This one down here will be point number two. And this is, I plan on this being money right here. So point number one, I'm a fish with a jerk bait. I'm gonna make my way down here to point two. But before I go that way, depending on my gut, what I'm kind of feeling when I'm on the water, this little cliff right here, this channel swing, it's a deeper bank with a lot of grass on it in the channel. So once I fish point number one with a jerk bait, making my way to point two, I may stop right here with a jerk bait again and just see if I can get a couple bites before my, making my way down here to point number two. Now when I get down here, it's a little deeper water. I may throw a jerk bait, may not, depend on how I think the bite's going, but what I think I'll be doing is sitting right here anywhere from 10 to 17 feet of water. Keep in mind, I'll kind of give you a visual of this, put a mental picture in your mind. This is a ledge and a swing, channel swing comes way out here like this. So I'm gonna be sitting anywhere right here, anchoring down on my kayak about 10 to 17 feet of water and throwing off of this ledge into deeper water. And then rattling the tube is what I'll be throwing. I'm throwing a tube with a rattle in it. I'll let it hit bottom and then just start popping that thing, making that rattle. Get as loud as it can and hopefully bring some bass, you know, draw them up out of the grass and hit that tube. And I'm going to fish this whole point and swing, this whole tapering point right here. But in particular, the focus will be this, the focus will be this ledge right here. So, yeah, that's game plan. Fish up here a little bit. Again, we'll launch right here. Fish this point with a jerk bait. Possibly this little cliff wall with a jerk bait and come down here and get right at it with a tube And I may hit this far bank right here because it's a cliff wall, right? You can see this the water's right here Tapers off but this ledge right here. They may be suspended on that. There's a lot of brush right here So I may throw a jerk bait or a tube and try to get a bite right there, too <clears throat> Yeah, that's the game plan So the goal today is I do not want to blank I want to get at least one fish But if I can catch them Five today would be a good number, so five is going to be the target. Anything past that, it's a pretty good day for this time of year. It's January 2021. 
cold weather. It's winter time, but even more so, it's going to be windy. So that's man, that makes cold weather almost hurt. But this is what fishing is. If most people sit home this like this time of year, like there's no way I'm going out fishing. But listen, it's got to do with confidence. If you can start putting in the time and be willing to get over the you know the weather, the elements, and all those things. You'll start building confidence as you start catching them, and all of a sudden those elements don't become factors to you anymore. You're confident year-round, and that's where I've gotten. I fished a long time, but year-round, there's not a single time throughout the whole entire year, no matter how cold it is, that I can't get bit. I can fish. I mean, even if it's like six degrees outside, the fish will still bite. It's just a matter of finding them. So if you know how to find them, you know their behaviors and you know feeding habits and all that good stuff, then you can find them. I mean... And we're going to try to prove that today. Like I said, that's what this video is about. It's more instructional than anything. So if I'm talking, it's just to put you in my mindset, what my thinking is, you know, and, and then put together a game plan based on that. So that's what this is. That's lake we're fishing. That's the conditions. That's the rundown of the lake. So with that said, enough talking. That should be enough instruction and overview of the lake. So yeah, let's just get right to it. Let's head out to the lake. I don't know. I'm just getting a good feeling right off the jump that this could be a good day regardless the conditions are setting up nice so far so i have a little bit better outlook on it now than i did when i was at the house so that's good but you still never know but like i was talking about that instinct earlier i just kind of got the instinct like man it's gonna be a good day this could be a good day but man the water is like ultra clear so anyway just initial thoughts upon getting to the lake so Again, just putting it inside my mind frame. But as of right now, yeah, we're still going to stick to the plan. Like on the map I showed, I'm putting in right there, and I'm going straight across to that first point. And I'm going to fish a jerk bait. I need to hurry up before the sun gets up too high, because it looks like that's going to be a good pattern right off the stop, right off the jump. So let's get to it. All right, so right now I'm literally sitting into the drop off of the creek. And I'm keeping this chartreuse on here because the, the lighting of the water is like actually pretty low. And I'm gonna fish this point just a little bit. See, I always touch the water too to kind of get a feel how cold it is. I've fished long enough that just by even literally touching the water, you can kind of get a sense of how cold the water truly is to the fish. And actually how cold I am standing here fishing, the water is actually warmer than how I feel. So we, we may be able to catch them. But we're gonna have to work at it today, that's for sure. Go toward the wind. There's one, guys. Yes. Good call. We didn't blink. <laughs> yeah, good one. Wind is blowing hard, too. Number one, baby. Yes! All right, so my instinct is telling me before I go to the second main lake point to kind of fish this deep channel that's over here, 
next to a deeper bank. Seems like it could be there. So that's where we're headed. I'm gonna do it real quick with a jerk bait, see what happens. Get it ready because I just briefly want to fish this. Let's go with it. tell you guys yes <laughs> pay attention to your gut small one that's all right number two is what it is there right there's a good cast Got two so far, not too bad, not too bad. Not the best, but it could be worse. that rock thought I had me another one there's one yes small one but it's, it's all good don't come off of there he's shaking his head a little bit <laughs> super small <laughs> but hey listen it doesn't matter man when it's cold you take what you can get even if it's fish you need to donate to some local aquarium and I'm talking a little aquarium inside a house That's number three. I'm telling you, pay attention to your gut, man. If you've got a good, confident instinct you've developed from experience, pay attention to it, man. I told you guys on that last spot, I was headed straight to that second point I pointed out on the map, but I didn't. There's another one. Yes, we found a good pattern, guys. But I did mention this bank. I told you guys it's got deeper water. And it's where the this we're in the channel right now. I'm in the channel right now. Fishing right along that grass line. And they are there. They're deep in that grass. This is crazy. Now my confidence is like skyrocketing. What's that, number four, I think? So quick recap, all right, so I'm set up on this point right here. This is the big point that I was really talking about. The ledge runs to the side over here, it drops off. I'm kind of on a deep point. It's really deep water, but it's still kind of like a point slash flat. Already hit the target for the day, five fish. That's what I wanted, 40 degree weather. I told you guys when I started it was 40, it was actually 36. So 
almost freezing and the wind is blowing pretty good so five fish so far 10 30 got a few hours to fish already hit the target of five fish but i want more so let's keep making it happen got the tube tied on I'm going to fish the bottom in about 20 feet of water see if i can't make it happen deep on the top of all this grass right on the edge of this grass line and even all over this point just to see if they might be stacked up suspended whatever i'm just trying to see if we can find more i'm feeling pretty good that i may somehow be able to get another bite but you never know just gotta try so that's where we're at that's what we're gonna do get this camera strapped back on and get back to fishing all right let's go a little deeper to that drop off ledge see what happens let it sink down just a little bit still sinking Right there is a good 15 to 20 feet. That's crazy. I don't know, that's coming to me. It almost feels like a fish. Uh, that was grass. That feels like a fish. Gosh, I can't tell. I keep hitting some crazy grass, man. There should be bass down in that, though. Man, that's crazy. Had me confused. I was getting excited. I think we found them. You would think there's got to be some fish in that stuff somewhere. Really wish this wind would go away. Making me cold. All right. Just make sure my rattle's still on. Sorry. Now we're gonna go a little bit deeper. Let's see if they're off the bank. Yeah, that was almost a perfect cast. See that ledge comes out here, so. That should sink down pretty deep and we should come right by that ledge. Whether fish is there or not, who knows, we'll see. And my hands are getting cold. They were doing all right with the stupid wind, man. Making my nose run, get stopped up and everything else. Man, I'm lure still sinking. That's crazy. Still going, what? Was that like 30 or 40 feet? Dude, there's no way, it's still going. Stop now. Yeah, my gosh, that's crazy. Drops off fast. That was nuts, man. There's one. Oh my gosh, dude. He hit it hard. <laughs> yes. We are deep, like 30 or 40 feet, guys. That was crazy. <laughs> Man. Right close to that ledge. It wasn't like it's supposed to be. That is nuts. That little guy was that deep. Six. Man, that was crazy. So I threw out about 40 yards, it looks like, give or take. And this sucker is sinking forever. I've got a, what is it? I think a, a eighth ounce tube jig head on here. And it takes this sucker a while to sink. Like I said, so that, this drops off pretty fast. On the other side though, that's the main lake, so it's deep. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> and we're kind of, I'm fishing too. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, he hit it. Oh, he let it go. Oh my gosh, dude. That was twice. See, I'm fishing. I'm coming right to the ledge. That was nuts, man. Let us sink. All right, we hit bottom now. Dude, that was crazy, man. I don't understand how that one didn't get hooked. He, like, pulled. That was crazy. Seems like they're on that ledge, though. I'm getting excited. Forgive me for the wind. This is just how we're set up right now. It's grass. Oh no, I'm in like a brush pile or something. Oh yeah, man. Dude, I didn't know there was a brush pile out there. That's not good. Dang it. All right, let me deal with this issue. We'll start it back up in a minute. All right, just gonna see if I can't get bit out here with just a tube, no rattles. We'll find out. We're back on the ledge. I'm pretty close to where it drops off. Just a little out in front of me. Just a little out in front of me. So you're still sinking? Yep, still going. Still going, man. There. Uh, I get hit now. I wish my anchor would hold me, not let me get out of position here. It sucks, I really need some rattles, man, in this tube. Somebody needs to start making some tubes with rattles in them. I'm sure they do, I just haven't dug into it very much. This one. There he is. Yeah. That's a good sign without the rattles. He was down there deep, too. I just barely felt a peck. Look at that, guys. We probably could have, could have been tearing it up by now if I'd have stayed here all along. That's good, though. That's number eight. He's cold. Yeah. He had to be down there in about 20, 25 feet of water.
They're out there past that ledge pretty good. Good stuff, finally got a bite for the first time in a little while. Right when I hopped it off that second time, I felt boom, I just felt a tick. I just set the hook, cause you can feel the difference. If you're in grass, it'll be like a gradual pull, you know what I mean? But I literally felt a mild thump on that one. Okay, we just hit bottom. Man, it's out there good. Good 20 or 30 feet of water on that drop off. Just barely pull it past all that grass. That's encouraging though. Caught him with no rattles. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. There was a tick. Yeah. Told you I could feel it. <laughs> Look at this, man. They're all over this ledge and this point right here. Look at that. Perfect. Come here now. This is number nine. They're small though, man. <laughs> That's turned out to be a decent day. Man, on the money, this channel runs this way, this little flat I'm on, you can see the contour of the lake, it kind of does the same thing on this drop off. They seem like they're stacked all in this grass. Man, that's two with no rattles though, I like it. I like it a lot. So we can get it done with no rattles, it's just that the rattles, they would have helped. All right, we just hit bottom, that's out there pretty good. It had to be a good 25, almost 30 feet. Right into the channel of this lake. <laughs> that felt like a tick, but I could tell that was grass. That's what I'm saying, you can tell the difference. You just kind of run into the grass. But man, just now that bass, even when I was hopping in the kind of about three or four feet off the grass, I know I'm in the middle of the water column, you know what I mean? So when I feel that tick, it's pretty pronounced. It's, you can tell a bass ticking it like that versus if you just kind of bump into some grass. It's just a different feel. So is that nine now? Two here in the past 10 minutes. Almost doubled up on our target for today of five. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be patient. Fish all out through here, left and right. Heck, so far I've just been straight out in front of me because I've got two bites. But they're probably mixed in all this grass and sometimes just cruising along it or in it. Just gotta keep fishing. If I would have been here the whole time instead of playing around on the, the other side over there, I probably could have had, man, I might have had a good 12 or 15 by now. It's not a bad day at all. I'm going to go back to my left a little bit. That was a good far cast right there. <sighs> 10. 15, 20, still going, 25, hit, it just now hit, yeah, see, probably somewhere around 28 feet, give or take, Getting kind of the water, getting kind of high in the water column right there, so I had to let it sink back down just a little. I was probably a good eight or ten feet. I was going a little too quick right there. 
So I was saying you want to make sure you stay in contact with the grass or pretty close to it because it seems like they're relating to the grass pretty hard. I've caught literally all eight bass, all nine bass, I should say, today right in a mix of grass. So. Right out in front of us. Yeah, we should be out there on that ledge. We just passed it. Still going. Still going, man. hitting the grass yeah whoo came through a stalk of grass I thought one had it oh man he wanted it that time get you some man they're out there deep this is crazy a little better they are out there deep like 30 35 man Number 10, we have literally doubled up now on the original target. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. That is nuts. Look, I got my anchor down. Throwing out super deep. Tell you, they're all over that ledge. This is awesome. That was number 10, baby. Double digits. <laughs> Not bad at all. Still going. There, it just hit. Out there deep again. Yeah, I'm hitting a lot of grass, dang. Getting a little high, need to let it fall back down. Still going. Dang, there it goes, just now hit. I was up there pretty high that time. Just out in front of me a little bit. Man, get off there. Come on now. Just kind of want to see if they're out here to my right. Uh, that's, that might be on that ledge, but uh, let's see. Seems like it's going to be a little on the right side of the ledge. But they could be on top of it too, though. So we'll see. It's still going. Just hit. I think. Yeah, it hit. This is still good. 20 feet out there, 25.
far up there. Back out in front of me. Tan on a windy cold day that started out at about 35 degrees. Been pretty cold all day. So yeah, catching tin on today, it's not too bad. Nothing really in size, which I don't really understand. There's, there, oh, is that one? Yeah, oh my gosh, he came loose. Gosh, dang it. Literally felt I had him and then he just, man. I don't know if he had it that good. Dang it, that was another one. That was the first one I lost on the tube. Man. <laughs> Can't believe that. Dang it. Still going, still going, <laughs> still going, still going, jeez, that's got to be a good 30 right there, are you kidding me, just hit, wow, let me start picking it up, out just a little bit more they're out there up just to cast so I can get some more power. Oh man. Slow and steady grind is what this is, but you gotta be patient. Not patient, might as well not might as well not do it. That's all there is to it guys. Oh man. I guess we'll nip it at it. Might have been some grass. Hard to tell. Yeah, I'm all in the grass right now, though. All right, yeah. Let me let me switch real quick. I'm gonna just see if a rattle can. If I put a jig with rattles in here, on here, then <clears throat> I feel like I could get a few more bites. We'll check it out and see. I still feel like there's some more here, so let me get off here and do that. We'll start back up. All right, guys. So, made the adjustment. What's going on now is we'll try a little rattle, rattle. See if it helps. First cast with the rattle. I'm gonna stand up for a while. It seems like my anchor's holding, so. Still going hard to hit bottom now. I can feel the wind blowing. There's one. Oh, got him. Dang, see? Just like that, you guys. Uh, man, he hit hard. First one, first cast. Oh, don't tell me come off. Oh, boy. He came right to me for a second. I thought he'd come off. 
<laughs> what I tell you guys. Woo! Amazing. First cast with a rattle. Call it luck, call it what you want, but I don't think so. I sat there and fished for a few more minutes. Not getting any bites on the tube with no rattle. First one after it hit. After it hit the bottom, literally just a couple casts, and I literally felt slam. Just like that. I don't think that's a coincidence. Still going, man, it's sinking fast. All right, just hit bottom. Yeah, I don't think that was a coincidence at all. This rattle, this rattle's loud too. What I did was take off a, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. So the Strike King jigs, the Premier Pro jigs, man, I'm telling you what, those rattles, oh man, I thought I had another one. The rattle chamber on those jigs is just loud and it makes an awesome sound. So that's what I, I stripped down the skirt, took it off, took off the, there's another one. God, I told you guys, gosh. I took off the skirt. Oh, this feels like a better one. I took off the skirt on the jig anyway, and then took off the, the what you call it. I can't even think straight, I'm getting excited. What's this, 12 now? Back-to-back -back cast. I'm telling you, that's how much of a difference it makes. So anyway, back to, sorry, so I took that, the skirt off of that Premier Pro jig, and I took the, gosh, he caught my, sorry about that, he caught my glove. And I took the weed guard off, basically turned it into a big sinker with the hook, or with the hook and the uh, rattle chamber attached, and then I just slid the tube over the top of it. That's two casts back to back since making that change. And I'm literally in like 35 feet of water. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it's just little bitty minute details. I was saying it the whole time how important that rattle was, but this is even a better rattle. So I should have thought of this already. I should have been more prepared, but Either way, I remember I had jigs, so I went ahead and took this skirt and the weed guard off, and man, that's still going. That's almost like, geez, that's like 40 something feet it still seems like. I had to try to set the hook. I was wondering if I had a fish. How's that still going? It just now hit. Oh my gosh, that is crazy, guys. That's gotta be close to 50 feet. It's a big time drop off out there. Man, we are deep. We got 12 fish now, I think. Have to count when I replay the camera. All right, so here's the deal. Got about an hour left to fish. It's crunch time. I need two more bites. The goal was to get five on a day like today, winter time. Got 13. If I can get two more, we will triple the target, which is amazing. So that'd make me happy. So yeah, I'm gonna fish this deep bank right here. Hopefully I don't get hung up. I'm gonna fish this tube. I feel like the rattles are drawing some pretty good attention. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to sit down so I don't spook them. There's one. Yes. Yes, this is 14. Hands on them. <laughs> Good call, man. <laughs> 14, man. One more. <laughs> One more fish. Oh, he sold me. 
Look at that, man. That is amazing. Again, when you call it, what you think you'd have a good shot at doing, and it works. Oh, man, it's just so amazing. All right. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. The way this is set up over here. So we're going to call it, man. 14. Not bad, not bad. I'm sad. I really wanted that 15th fish, though. It's time to get back to the truck. I got to go. Got to wrap this up. It's fun. We can do it again another time. Hopefully, it'll just get better and better because it's almost pre-spawn season for bass fishing. Getting exciting. So, fun day. Let's do it again sometime. I'm down. You down. Let's do it. For now, it's a wrap. All right, guys. So, real quick before I go, I wanted to show you one more illustration of how... I was fishing today to give you a better idea. So here's the ledge I was I was fishing, right? So I'm gonna flip this map around. I drew a, a little map just to give a little bit more illustration or in-depth view of what I was doing. So I had my anchor down right here. And this is the point. If you're looking directly at the point I was fishing, meaning this is the, the lake I'm fishing, right? This is the point I'm talking about. This is the map. I just now drew of this point. So I'm gonna flip it around this way. So the map I just drew is if you're looking at it like I am right now. Look at that Google Earth. You can flatten it. So if you can imagine the channel swings around this way and there's a ledge that comes right out here. Okay, so that's what this view is right here. We're looking dead on. Pretty much putting you on the water, looking dead on at this point right here, right now, okay? So there it is. The channel swings out here and the ledge runs this way. What I did was anchor down right here and throw off this ledge into the channel as much as possible. Let the lure sink down and start hopping it back up to me. This is like a slow tapering point all the way around here. It eventually tapers off into the channel out here. So all of this is a gradual drop off. And that's illustrated by this. You see him up there in my awesome boat. Look at me. Looking like an old man. <laughs> yeah, fish. I throw my lure out, let it sink way down here into the channel. Let me show you this. I throw my lure out, way past the channel, let it sink down. And I'd start hopping along in all this grass and start coming back up. And sometimes they'd be on top of the ledge, just barely. Yeah, that's how I fish. That's a pretty cool shot right there. I just wanted to show you that just to give a little bit more insight to what i was doing this kind of almost puts you on the water it's pretty neat yeah anchored out about 17 feet of water give or take chunked way casted way into this channel and let it sink and it tapers up like like i just showed you so yeah i just figured i'd give you a pretty cool shot of that google earth just to help out a little bit more give you like an underwater perspective of what i had in my mind when i was fishing but Anyway, nonetheless, it was a good day. 14 fish, tried to get 15, couldn't do it. But on a winter day, that's, that's not bad at all. Had a target of five fish, we beat that, almost tripled it. So it was a good day, but yeah, that's it. Rock Cliff Reservoir, it's a good lake to fish, man. I love it. Can't wait till fishing really picks up. So we'll do this again sometime. I'll get back on the lake, whether it's this one or another one, and I'll show you along. I'll keep you in my mind, tell you what I'm doing, what the plan is, and you can learn from that if you want to, if you can. That's up to you, but I'll do what I can to help. So, yeah, until next time, man, this one's a wrap. It was fun. We'll do it again.